Welcome to my March 2021 vlog update on Drone Alone. I had a really good time this month uh, modeling a few item containers um, for things that you loot from chests. So here are a few examples uh, for different item types so it's kind of easier to identify uh, what you're looting. Um, they will have different colors based on the quality of the item inside them. Um, and I took inspiration from different things, from magneto, op magneto optical discs to M.2 drives. <laughs> Here's some examples, uh, just in game, of these models used as clutter around a, a cave, basically. And here's just another view of this. So, um, in this example, you know, I, I wanted to make sure that you know it looked like it was abandoned and kind of rummaged through you know, a long time ago. Um, so you have different examples. Um, you have examples that are used for the clutter and also used for uh, the items being looted. So right now we're kind of looking at the clutter and how, um, right now I have high-res textures on them. I'll probably put some simpler textures because of the number of them. And then when you loot a chest, you'll have uh, different items that will show up to kind of demonstrate what you've looted before you looted it, actually. And so here, I'm just going to loot some items uh, from this chest. And there you can see what these models look like with the color indicators for the quality, basically. And they're kind of small, at the moment, so it's kind of hard to see, but you can get closer if you want. I also updated the map in game. Uh, I've had like four or five different iterations and now I'm just sticking with a 2D map. It's far easier to read than a 3D map. Um, so here you can see different uh, points of interest within a map and uh, there's kind of like a fog of war. That's why it's kind of gray. I've made it semi-transparent just so I can kind of use it for debugging, but in the game it will be fully black. And you can zoom out and see the system you're in. You can click on them. This is all temporary artwork, obviously. And then you can see the star system and then the planet system. And you can kind of go up and down the hierarchy uh, of the of the map, basically. And uh, obviously this is just the first couple of beginning parts. And like I said, the artwork is temporary. Another thing you can do as well is you can set waypoints. Um, so for example, you can set a waypoint in the game and it will set a waypoint uh, in the 3D space as well. Um, I have some logic behind it, so it kind of tries to determine where's the best place to point, place this, way, this waypoint in the, the up-down axis, the Z-axis. Um, by default, it will just go on the same plane as you're playing. Um, but if it hits something that's interesting, let's say like somewhere where there might be, I don't know, a cave, for example, uh, it will actually place it there. Um, so it's a little bit smarter. And obviously, as you get closer, uh, to the waypoint, I added like a distance, a uh, little meter that shows up in meters. And uh, yeah, and then when you get close enough to it, it will just fade away and be removed from the map. Uh, right now you can only have one at a time because I don't want people placing like hundreds of waypoints. There's not really any point in this game. Uh, but it's a good thing because it is kind of hard to navigate at times. And here you can see what it looks like uh, when you've uh, discovered part of the map. Um, because the way it works, it has a certain resolution. Obviously, those parts of the map will be uh, um, a certain size, and they might be a slightly offset from where you actually are in game. And yeah, and here I'm just showing another example here of a waypoint for where you are going to something that's kind of interesting. So this asteroid is a little bit special, um, and that's why, even though the waypoint should have been much lower because it's, that's where the player was it knows that this is probably more interesting so it's placing the waypoint much higher and as we get closer to it uh, there we go there's a name for it it's a cave basically this is what my caves are another thing I've done that's kind of hard to demonstrate here but basically I've converted some of my blueprint scripting into actual C++ which is much faster so here's an example of a function called remove instances from instance static meshes um, which creates spikes as it operates and uh, 
when you're running this in Blueprint, it has a higher hit performance, uh, makes it have more impact on the render time compared to C++. So these are my updates from March. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I know it's not that much, but most of it was actually C++ coding, so there's not really much to show here. And uh, I should have a demo up pretty soon. I'm getting close there. Thank you.